Good morning guys, it's Ghost, and today we're doing something for the Q50. Now before I get into this and kind of show you what we're doing today for the Q50, I did do something to my car and I want to show you guys. I'm not sure if you guys seen it before, but my car before had some tint, but it wasn't that dark. So I actually got the car retinted, and as you can see, it is pretty dark. I mean, you can see me right there and you can't really see nothing in there. I mean, as you can see, we took the whole front windshield and it's 15% all the way around. And the reason that the back seems darker is because the guy actually kept the old tint on the car and just slapped another layer. So it's actually more darker than the front because this one already had tint. I mean, as you can see, you can't see nothing. It is dark. And I'm, I'm in love with the way it looks. I mean, you can't see nothing. It is awesome. Anyways, enough about the tint. Let's talk about what we're doing here. So as you can see, we are doing an oil change today. I'm gonna to be running the Mobile One's Extended Performance. I'm running the 5W30 oil. Normally on the Q50, it recommends 0W20, but I like to run a little thicker oil. So 5W30, we're running today. Got an extra quart just in case. And I'm gonna be running, if I can get out of here, is the Nismo oil filter. The reason I'm running this one is because I've heard it helps with oil pressure and overall, it's a really good filter. It has like more layers and overall, just it just seems better. And I was like, why not? I might as well try it out. And yeah, so here we are. And you might be wondering what this is. I will be doing a oil analysis from Blackstone. As you can see, as we're doing the oil change, somewhere between the middle of the oil change, I will grab an oil sample through here and I will pack it up and send it to Blackstone just so we can get an oil analysis because I have a lot planned for the car, but I want to see how healthy the oil is and the motor before we keep modifying it. You know, I want to see how it's doing and then go from there. And then the next part is going to be this. This is called a Z1's anti-jump kit, but all it really is is a belt and a modern style pulley. So the OEM pulley on these cars for the, I believe it's 2022 and older. It doesn't have these lips on the side. See how this has like the lips on the side right here. Yeah, the old one doesn't have that. And the old one's made of like a cheaper material, but this one's like actual steel, as you can hear, and it has the lips. So it should help the belt kind of stay in place and stop it from flying off. Because trust me, that's happened to me before. That belt flew off and it sucks when it flies off. So yeah, that's the whole point of this pulley. It's just to help prevent the belt from flying off and keep it in place. And I'm still debating if I'm gonna install the belt because the belt on this car is only a few months old. So I might just keep it and keep this as an emergency if something ever happens, but we'll see, I'm not sure. And before we begin, I gotta make a quick trip to O'Reilly's to pick up a few things, and then we'll start. So while the car is warming up, I do wanna talk about why I'm going to O'Reilly's, and that's because I don't have a tool to actually loosen up the bolt tech, uh, belt tensioner, and that's because you kinda of need a really long breaker bar that's skinny. Um, I don't have anything like that, so we're gonna go to O'Reilly's. I believe you can rent it, um, so we'll see how that goes. And I'm gonna get me an oil pan so I can actually see the condition of the oil as well. So I do have a lot planned for the car, and that's kind of the reason why I want to do all this oil stuff, just to make sure the car is still healthy, the oil looks good. I don't want to keep throwing money at the car, and then there's issues and stuff, so I want to kind of look at that right now, see how it's doing, and then go from there. As you can see, the car is currently at 49,135 miles. Um, so yeah, we're going to see how it looks and go from there. And this is a pretty good video to show you guys who don't have a Q50 yet, who might be interested in one. Um, again, the car is almost at 50,000 miles. We'll do an oil change to see how it looks do the analysis to see how that looks as well and yeah go from there all right so i am back from o'reilly's and this is what i bought right here it's a serpentine belt tensioner tool i've used this tool before i mean i rented it and it helped me out so i actually went ahead and bought it today but yeah as, as you can see i'm gonna pop it out it's a very skinny tool um it's pretty awesome for loosening the belt tensioner it fits a really nice especially since the q50 has a really tight uh, area to work with this should come in handy and I forgot to mention, uh, once the oil change is completed and we're fully drained the oil out, I did install the catch can. So we're gonna be actually checking this. Um, I installed it about three weeks ago. So we're gonna take this off to see how it looks and if it's filled with oil or if there's any, just, I just wanna see what's inside and how much it actually caught. Like I said, it's only been three weeks, so it might not be anything, but uh, we're gonna take a look. Overall, the install wasn't too hard. As you can see, you got two hoses that route behind the motor. And if you can see, it routes behind the motor and then this is the outlet right here so it routes to and then 
the inlet comes right over here and it gets routed right here. Basically the PCV system, how it works is pressure builds up in the crankcase and this helps release the pressure through here and comes into your intake. Now, what can happen over time is oil can get caught and oil builds up in your intake. So instead of it routing through here to here, it now routes to the filter and then comes back here. Overall, it's a pretty cool system and we're gonna see after three weeks if it caught anything. That might not be long enough, but we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. All right, enough talking. We're gonna go ahead and get the car up and we're gonna drain the oil and uh, yeah, start, start doing some stuff. And the reason I'll be running this cheap oil pan I bought from O'Reilly's is because I have a better style oil pan that helps drain it easier, but I, I really want to take a look at the oil and see how it looks and see if there's any metal shards and blah, blah, blah. So I got this one and yeah, we'll go from there. All right, so just to recap, like I said, we're gonna go ahead and drain the oil and like, I'm gonna let it flow for a couple seconds and then we're gonna get this, fill up a sample, drain the rest and yeah, put the filter on and go from there. I brought an next one, it's getting pretty close. Don't want it to overfill. I think it's fine. Damn, that is close. Oh, nice. Okay. Make a little clean, and then you can just like thread this bolt back in. Okay, now I'm going to clean it. I recommend hand tightening it as much as you can. And now when you put your <clears throat> wrench back on, just don't go don't go too tight. Just you know make it a little snug, like <sighs> like that. Perfect. Alright, so as you can see we pulled the thing out. It filled up pretty nicely. But I don't know if you guys can see, it actually looks pretty good. I don't see any sort of metal any metal shards. It looks clean. It doesn't look like it's mixing, but obviously we'll take it in to get it fully inspected through black labs and go from there. And I also got the little tube thingy. So we'll send that to them and see how it turns out. But yeah, it's, I mean, it definitely looks dirty, but it doesn't look bad. <clears throat> All right, what is up guys? We actually go ahead and finish the oil change and we got the sample right here. I'm gonna go ahead and just get this cleaned up a little bit and we're gonna put this in the lot with the block bag and send it out. That's it. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna get this all signed up and ship it out. And hopefully, in a couple of weeks, we find out how the engine's doing and how the oil looks. Like I said, I, I looked at the oil over there. I don't see any clear signs of metal shavings or any coolant mixing with it or anything. But you know, this will kind of help us kind of verify: is there any fuel or anything else I'm missing? And yeah, hopefully, we find out and go from there. All right. So, like I said, the catch can I installed about three weeks ago. Um, I don't believe it's going to be full, but we're going to double check uh, Z1 Motorsports supply me with this little hex key that'll help us loosen up these top three bolts and then we'll pull this out and take a look. All right, you guys ready? Yep, so it's been about three weeks and it actually did catch a decent amount of oil. I mean, 
it might look like a lot, but actually it's not even not even a quarter. It's like an eighth of a of the thing. But yeah, that's cool. I'm glad it's working. It's actually catching oil, which is awesome to see. Uh, but yeah, look at that. That is so cool. All right, so we got it all cleaned up. I don't know if you guys can see the inside, but we got it all cleaned. So we're gonna go ahead and reinstall it. And like I said, especially if you have the 3.0 turbo Q50, but to be honest, any any car you have, especially if it's turbocharged, highly recommend getting you a catch can. It will make a world of difference. It could definitely save your engine. All right, and we end up taking the pulley off, which you can't really see, but this is the old one. See how it's like worn out? And this is a new one. Pretty crazy difference. And yeah, we're not gonna take the whole belt off. We're gonna leave the belt on just because it's still a new belt. But uh, yeah. Overall, not too hard of an install, and yeah, it's crazy difference, dude. All right, and as you can see, that's how it currently looks, and it looks pretty nice. All right, and that is everything. We got it fully tightened up right there. The belt looks pretty good, but um, we'll go ahead and start the car up, and yeah, see how it goes. All right, guys, that's basically it. Like we did the anti-jump belt, we checked the catch can, we changed the oil, and we're gonna send that uh, oil sample to Blackstone to get it analyzed so we can see how the car is. Like I said, the oil looks good, but we're gonna double check and make sure. But yeah, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.